Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Oh my god, it feels so good to film. I was so sick the past few days. I had a really bad chest infection and I did not want to take antibiotics for no reason, so I waited it out and it's starting to go. So my voice probably does sound really weird. Trust me, I, do, I feel fine. It's just that my voice is just so weird. Anyways, I'm back today to try a testing out new makeup video. I haven't done a video like this in so long and I've got a few bits that were sent to me but then some I bought myself and I'm just so excited to try every single bit here. I just feel like this is going to be a nice fun video and yeah I'm just going to talk you through the products and I'm going to see my first impressions and hopefully the products are good. I'm not going to do a wear test because I'm going to have to film another video with my sister because you guys love to see my sister in my videos so I'm not going to do a wear test but you're going to see how the look looks like and if I do like the products you see them in my future videos but stuff like foundation, concealer you'll hear about them in my future videos. Before we move on to the video, I'm going to give my post notification shout out and today's one goes to Axie Z. So thank you hon for pressing that bell button, I really appreciate it and I'm sending lots of love your way. I know my voice sounds terrible. <laughs> if you guys want to get a post notification shout out, all you have to do is press that subscribe button and then go on to pressing that bell button so you receive notifications when I post and you won't miss a video. You can comment when you've done so in the comments below and I just pick um, people who comment a lot on my videos or people who have said that I have just pressed the button. You know, it really depends. I change it up. So everyone has a chance to um, get featured, you know, because I know some of you have pressed the button years ago. So I really appreciate that. So we're first going to start off with the eyes and I do have these Bare Minerals Bare Pro concealers and these look so good. This is what they look like and I'm going to use the darker shade here. And I'm gonna put this on my lids to act as a base because I feel like these would work really nice as a base. The brush to just blend that. It's blending really nice. That blended really really nice. I hope you guys don't mind that I have a really like bad voice. I didn't think it was gonna be that bad. But since we've started, you know, might as well finish. It feels quite dry, like not like a dewy concealer, which I like. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be using is this Buxom May Contain Nudity Eyeshadow Palette. The packaging on this is super cute. The palette itself has this like, looks like this crocodile skin kind of design. Obviously it's not real, you guys should know that. These are what the shades look like. I'm going to use this shade right here. This palette has a mirror as well. This colour is super light, but it's still showing up on my skin. It's definitely more greyer than what I usually go for, but I feel like if you like everyday shades and you just want a little bit of shadow and a bit of definition on the eyes, then you might like this. I'm going to use the brown, the dark mahogany brown here and like deepen that outer corner it's definitely not as warm as I thought it would be it's a very cool tone brown I'm then going to take the shimmery gold right here it does come with a little brush I'm just packing this on with the brush that comes in the palette. So that gold is definitely pigmented. Definitely. And I didn't even wet it and I feel like if you wet this, I don't have a setting spray right now. But I feel like if you wet this, this will give you like a beaming gold. No. Look. actually really shocked at that eyeshadow like it's super natural like this palette in my opinion is a really really natural like everyday palette so if you want something super subtle if you like work in an office or something you want something that's not too like overwhelming or bright this is really nice because it's pigmented it blends really easily so you're not going to spend your time blending for me personally I feel like it's too natural these kind of remind me of the Bobbi Brown eyeshadows 
that's what they remind me of so yeah definitely for someone who likes an everyday natural eye look okay so next I bought these eyelashes from LA Splash I'm actually so excited to try these look at them they're so stunning I think these are called Dauntless yeah so these are in the style Dauntless okay let's pop these on I got these from Beauty Bay they were so affordable so I'm really excited to see how these feel like okay they feel nice I did pop some uh, mascara on before this okay so I put the lashes on they're super pretty they're very very like flimsy though so I felt like I struggled more to put them on and I did have to cut them into shape as well this one is not like I put so much glue on that one and it's not sticking okay so I've got one lash on it's okay <laughs> Um, we're gonna go onto the eyes. I did like there was some fallout from the eyeshadow, just a little bit. I just and I do clean up the edges slightly. Okay, so I've got this Clinique Pep Start Hydro Blur Moisturizer. This is what it looks like. This is kind of like a. It feels like a silicone moisturizer, but not as much. Like it's super soft. I don't know if you can see that. Like it's not like hard or anything and I'm just gonna pop this onto my skin but it definitely like smooths out your skin so I like to put that around the center but this stuff's really good I really like it under makeup okay so the next thing I'm going to be using is the Buxom Illuminator which comes in this box right here it's in the shade Venus I don't know if they have numerous shades but it comes in a tube like this I feel like this would be really nice on the body it gives this like super pretty glow without being ashy which I love so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on my cheekbones look at that wow super pretty pretty that is I am glistening definitely going to be using this for summer next up I'm super excited about this it's a foundation and this was recommended by one of you guys actually it's the mega cushion foundation by wet n wild I had to buy this on Amazon and I'm not sure if it's new, but they have a really bad shade range, I have to say that off the bat. This is literally the darkest one. They definitely need to up their game on shade range, but this was super affordable and it looked cool and I wanted to try it on camera. Um, I have the shade Tawny, which is the darker shade. Um, it does come with a super soft sponge, which I'm going to try out. Um, there's no mirror, which is fine, it is affordable. It has SPF 15 in it, it's cruelty free which is a thumbs up from me. So yeah, let's just put this on. It's going to be a little bit dark. Definitely doesn't have that paint smell that the Photo Focus Concealer um, Foundation had. going on super soft on the skin it smells like old you know makeup back in the day it actually works really well with the sponge that it comes with it's not acceptable that it's a dark one I'm not the darkest skin color out there definitely not Oh, it's so much easier when you use it like this. It's going a little bit ashy around here, I don't know why. Hmm. We don't want no ashiness. Okay, I'm actually pretty pleased with that. I have to say, it's working pretty well. Wow. 
Here's a close up. It's so pretty, isn't it? I really don't know how I feel about these lashes. I feel like I can't trust them. They're pretty, but they were like four pounds, so they're not bad, but I don't know. They're having some hard time sticking onto my lid. And I feel like it's because they go so straight and once you take them off the packet, like they straighten out. So it's so hard for them to curl and attach to the lid. So we're going to go back in with the Bare Minerals Concealer. I don't know if this is going to be too light for me. This is definitely like a highlight shade for me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the dark one which I have which is deep neutral. I'm going to brush a little bit of that onto the brush and just blend that in with the concealer. Just to make it more my colour. is not bad you know I feel like this would work better with a brush rather than a sponge yeah it's definitely harder to blend once you let it sit but I feel like this is gonna help it like not crease and you know just stay throughout the day what does it say on the packaging let me see it's that it's 16 hour wear Soft matte finish, waterproof, one swipe coverage, smudge proof, crease proof. So it claims a lot and I feel like that's true because like it's so hard to blend and drier concealers like this tend to not crease. And look, it just looks so flawless. I'm really pleased with that. Okay, I'm going to take the darker colour. Ooh. And so nice. I actually really love this shade as well. Like it's like the perfect contour shade for me. It's not too warm. Look how easy that blend that is blending. I definitely see myself using these. They look so nice. They blend so nice. Look at that. Oh, it's not bad like a nose contour okay I love these concealer sticks so definitely a thumbs up on them it hasn't even creased yet and I haven't set it normally by the time I'm done with the, all this my concealer has creased a little bit but yeah I'm really surprised it looks stunning damn Okay, so the next thing which I'm super excited for and I've been wanting to try it, but it's the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder. It looks like this. It's so cute. It comes in this little packet like this. Again, I got this from Beauty Bay. Oh my god, it's so pretty. It comes in a little jar. I'm just going to put this on. I mean, it feels really, really, really soft. Super soft. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm just going to use the rest to set my makeup because the foundation is pretty dewy. Oh, I love how my under eyes look so bright right now. I'm just going to let that sit there. That's just sitting on my skin so beautifully. I don't know if you can tell. Wow, wow, oh my god, I love playing with makeup. So the concealer and the powder so far, a thumbs up for me. What we do next? 
Oh, we got some blusher. I've been dying to try these. Um, these are the. This is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Powder Blush. They gave me this super pretty, like peachy pink shade. This is called Strike a Pose. It's much brighter, you know, in person. Okay. It's pretty. Yeah, it's just a nice blush and the shade's really pretty. I've been dying to try this next product for like the longest time ever. Um, it's the Morphe Times Bretman Baby in Paradise palette. Oh my goodness, I can't, can't wait to try this. And do you know what? I was so shocked to see that there was a brush in there. Um, but the quality of the brush, like, like it's not like your standard um, fan brush. Because I've mentioned before, I don't really like fan brushes because they don't really sometimes you just end up with a line but this one is like it gives a diffuse kind of line look at that compared to let's say this one can you guys see the difference it's like super fluffier so this is the palette oh my goodness it's so beautiful so beautiful this is definitely my bronzer shade. Instantly, my eyes, my eyes are drawn to this shade right here, which is Mahu. Mahu. Chee-hoo. I'm sorry, I just had to do that because, you know, I love me some Brett Munrock. pretty. I want to try it as a bronzer. Shady bitch right here. Look at that as a bronzer. So pretty. I'm going to use Bebe Girl. Bebe. In the, in the, oh, it has like lilac in it. You guys know I love me some lilac. Is it lilac? Look what it is. P Lilac and pink reflex or something like that. Look at that in the corner highlight though. I'm going to use Vagation. Ooh. So I'm going to do Get Laid and Chee-hoo. Just watch. I know I'm a weirdo but I don't care. That's chee and that's Get Laid. That's so stunning. Okay, I love this palette. You guys know I'm obsessed with highlighters. This is going soft, it's not going ashy on my skin. I love it, I love it. I'm gonna take a small brush. And I'm gonna blend some of the darker shades from the eyeshadow palette we used on my lower lash line. Look at my base, like, I'm actually so shocked right now. Okay, I bought this Soeva Soft Cold Noir Pencil. And I bought this because I saw Mama Mitchell use it on Nikki tutorials on their video that they did together. And this was black. So it's just a standard pencil like this. Yeah, that is black. Look how it's going. I don't even need to press. You see a difference? I feel like because Nikki's pale, like she's more pale, much more paler than me. Like the black was super intense, but this is like better than anyone that I've used so far because I barely need to press. I feel like this could be a wedding eyeshadow look. Like I feel like I would wear something like this to my wedding, like super wispy. I'm actually kind of digging the lashes now. Okay, so now finally onto lips. I've got two products here that I want to try. Don't think they're going to go together, but I just want to try them. You know? My lips have been so dry because of my cold that I've, been, that I've got. So I'm first going to use this Buxom Plump Line Lip Liner, which I've seen everywhere in Insta videos. Um, this is what they look like. 
This one's in the shade Incognito. Okay, it's not a lighter. I can't use this as a liner. Let's just use it. Okay, they're definitely super soft. Let's just try it on its own. Yeah, it's definitely really pale, but it comes with a brush and you can like diffuse it. I'll probably only use this if I'm using a darker lip liner, but they feel really nice. On to the next lip product, which I'm so excited about. It's again by Zoeva. It's a new pure matte lips and it's in the shade About Turn. I feel like this is going to be a summer shade for me. You would think it's an autumn shade, but I don't know. I love the, these kind of wooden brown colours. It's very similar, I think, to Maybelline Fighter in the Stay Matte Ink ones. Like an orangey kind of brown. Yeah, it's much more orangey than I thought. I love that lip colour. Look at that lip colour. Oh my goodness. I actually love it. I just love this whole look. I'm just like checking myself out. Like this makeup look is so... I can't believe everything I use is just new and stuff that I've never tried and it's just worked so perfectly. I love it so much. Let's quickly do a flash test. Actually no flashback. It just looks really like bright under my eyes but not like flashbacky, you know. There's definitely no flashback from the powder which is a huge thumbs up for me. Oh my god, I actually love the powder. It feels so soft. So, okay, so definitely the favourite things in this video are the lippy. Oh my god, the lipstick feels so nice and it makes your lips plump, it's not sticky, it's even, I love it. So definitely the lippy, I love the setting powder, the concealers, even like the one as a contour. I love the highlight palette, I'm not too sure about the foundation yet, but it does look pretty good. I love the cold pencil, the blush, I feel like I love everything. The eyeshadow is super, the eyeshadow palette is super pretty, but it's not something I would use on a, on a daily, you know but it's still super pretty. The lip liner, I probably only use if I'm using a darker lip liner. I love the moisturizer, the illuminator, I'm definitely gonna be using that during summer. It's super glowy. Oh, and the lashes, they're super pretty, but I just have to get used to them and see if I can work with them more. I'm not too short on the lashes. Let me know what you guys think. I am super surprised about every single product I've used. Like, there's not one that didn't really work. If you guys want to see more testing out products videos, in the future let me know in the comments below and give this video a big thumbs up it will let me know as well thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you in my next video bye